Hello, and welcome to the third video of the Leak Code in C Sharp series. In this video, we're going to be doing the challenge called Longest Substring Without Repeating Characters. So if we switch to the web browser, and let's get started. So the challenge, given a string of s, find the, le find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So s, a, b, c, a, b, c, b, b. Okay, so that's three because there's a, b, c, and that's three unique characters in a row. B, 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 1, P, W, W, K, E, W, so that'll be, okay, so, right, longer substring without repeating characters, okay, cool, so what's the best approach to this, have int count equals 0, we will then, what will we do, we are going to have an int current count equals 0, we will then do while okay so there's a there's an obvious way of doing it which is just doing a for loop through the string and then uh going each so starting the first character then go blah da 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 etc but that's going to be inefficient so what we want to do is record it it's in this many unique characters in a row until it's not and then you go from there and go along so that's what the plan is so you have in count, so this is the number which we'll be returning. Let's just do that from now. So then we have current count, which will be... This will be... What will this be? We we'll have int current index equals zero. So we will do while current count is less than string s dot how do you get length in c sharp okay it's just length cool s dot length um then while we're in here so current current index is zero so for i equals current index i is less than s dot length then i plus plus actually should this should be minus one so okay so if it's one in a row it's like this so actually current count should be one and we will bring this down to here because no matter what the current letter you're on is a count so if s uh, wait this should be current index not current count current can index does not equal s i we will then current count plus plus we will do current index no we don't need to do that just do current count plus plus then else this will be current index equals i if count less than current count count equals current count have the index which will be the starting letter now this should be plus one so you start there so zero and this will be one so you start of zero one if it doesn't equal then this will plus one then this will plus one let's let's test i think that might be a oh entire okay now it's run okay time limit, limit exceeded so i definitely did something wrong there one thing i should do is break from here because it's currently just going continuing to go through each of the letters so break from there um let's try again okay time limit exceeded again okay i am i am doing something wrong um current index zero s length what are the test cases let's let's go through a step by step so current index zero which is this so ah uh, this is meant to go up as well go back here current plus plus ah okay yeah because you're not going one zero one then you're doing one zero uh, one two and that's how you're going along right okay i think I, yeah that caused an infinite loop i think okay seven okay how did that happen so that's definitely not well obviously that's not right that should have been one two three four five six so can't count one can't count one that's correct maybe i could just do it in a single for loop Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to do this at all. 
So 4i, 0, s length minus 1, then let's just clear this up a bit. So si does not equal s plus 1, can't count plus plus, else count equals current count plus plus, then current count equals 1. Alright, I need to do this part. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, wrong again. Same numbers, how... D I'm not sure how that's possible. So, S i doesn't equal S i plus 1. Well, let's just move the plus minus 1 and see what happens there. Just out of curiosity. Okay, yep, same thing. So, you know, I'm bringing up the notepad for this. Why isn't this working? So we've got, we got A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. And this is 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so start off at zero. You then go to the next line. Does this equal this? If this doesn't equal, count plus one. Yep, cool. It goes back. So now we're here. Does this equal this? Maybe the issue is, is that it starts at one? Maybe that's... Uh, but then the second one's getting correct. Okay, not all of them wrong. <laughs> Expected three. Oh, yeah. I'm misunderstanding it. Okay, so we'll create so we'll create a list of characters and we'll check to see if it's in the list. So then we'll do. If S I uh, C sharp if list contains car. Okay, so stop contains. So if it doesn't contain, then you do current, and then we'll do dot add si, then okay, we'll just run it to see if I got anything wrong. I've probably got a syntax error somewhere. Oh, I was expecting something else besides a semicolon. <laughs> Still getting it wrong. Forks. Okay, maybe now it's supposed to be zero. Okay, so this was what I was thinking before with having the two variables. So what we'll do is i minus minus. So then it repeats it, but it starts from here. Uh, if all right, we need to current current letters equals new list. Now let's try it. Might need to bring that back to 1. Okay, bring that back to 1. <sighs> I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, okay, I think it had to be like this. Right, I forgot to do that one. Okay, let's try again. Okay, those were those worked. Why did it get 2? I'm not sure why that happened. So it would have gone 1. One two, this W is already in, so it will stay here. One, one two, one two three, but it's not doing that. I'm not sure what the issue is here. Okay, so zero. Okay, we'll do. Gonna do this again. P, W, W, K, E, W. 
So zero. Is this in the list? No. Can't count plus plus. Then add it to list. So it gets the bottom, goes to next index. Does current letter exist? No. Two. Add to list. W. Does it exist? It does exist. So it goes to here. Okay, well, I don't know why I've got all this in here. That's oh, that's why it happened. It should be like this. That must have been the issue. Wait, why do I have a break there? I don't need a break there. Oh, that that must have been why it stopped working. Or oh, part of a reason, part of many reasons why things don't work. And it's still, it's not working. Okay, let's go again. P. It's not in plus one. Okay. W. Plus one. It's not in. Go up. So W again. So on I. We want it two. So we'll go down to here. If count, it's less than current count, which it would be. Yep, that's correct. Current letters. Yep. Yep. And current count zero. That's that should work. And then when it was it was the I minus minus, it will then plus one again, so it'll stay on this W. Then it would go through. But it's not for some reason. So there's somewhere I'm doing things incorrectly. So Yep, start off with count zero which has been returned. Current count is zero. Yep. So current letters it's for entire. I don't think oh, I don't think this will fix it, but let's just do it. Oh, didn't mean to submit. Damn it. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not sure why this would return zero, but whatever. Oh, let's run it again, just see what happens. Okay, so that was the issue. I wouldn't have thought that would have been a problem. So now it worked, but why? I don't understand why that would have fixed it. Because it shouldn't have. Well, let's just try something random. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How does that get zero? You know what, let's just change this from car to string. Maybe it's doing something weird. Okay, so... It, right. But how is it possible that it returns zero? It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, this... This should be working. Like, it's not a difficult problem. So we got the count, that's fine. We're returning the count. The only time we change that is when we are no longer on the streak, else, and then count is less than. Even then, this just doesn't make sense. It, it should be. Okay, no, this does make sense. This shouldn't be a minus one because it's less than. Right. So, okay, that, that's fine. If current letters. You know what? Let's just reverse it. Let's see if it's doing something weird. Same thing. Well, let's change this input to A B C A B C D E F if I can if I can change it. Oh, I just have to go here. A B C D E F G H O J. Let's run that. Zero again. Let's try this, just put a double at the start. I'll put one. So three up three, that's this. One, that's a single letter. Three, that's ABC. So why isn't this working? What happens if I just do this? Oh, okay, I know. It's because it's not running this when you're at the very end of the for loop. Damn it. Why 
Why did it take me so long to figure that out? <laughs> there we go. Submit it. Wrong answer. Too exp Right. I forgot about that. Okay, no. Okay, starting index equals one. Oh, starting with zero. So, what we will do if current count equals zero equals i, then we'll do i equals starting in dex minus one. So then, when it goes back, let's see if this works now. Starting index sign what never used. What? Oh, my bad. Let's go again. Oh, I did one. Should be I. I plus one. There we go. I sum up, submit that. Okay, finally. So, at least we're in the top 50% for speed this time. So, if you enjoyed watching me solve this leaked code problem called Longer String Without Repeated Characters, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video where I do a leak code challenge.